Hey guys, this video is going to be about how to use pickers in Helix and specifically the key bindings you can use. And I will also talk a little bit about the search syntax that you might want to use. So pickers, of course, there are various pickers, but most of them have uh, the same key bindings. So let me just show you this, how this works by pressing space F. This is the regular file picker. And if you want to go up and down here, you can do tab and go up. You can go to go up. You can do shift tab. You can of course use the arrow keys up and down, but you can also use control N and control P. And of course you can just type something here, you know, of course this is for the search. So I could just type for example, SRC and then dot RS or whatever. And then I can find this whole path here. And so if I press control D here, I can go a page, a page down, but if I press control U, I can go a page up and you can also use page up and page down. You can also use home and end to jump to the first and the last entry. And of course you can use enter if you want to select something. So now I've selected this year. If you want to open something in the background without actually closing the picker, you can use alt enter like this. Now I just open this cargo.log file here. You can even open a file in a split and you can do that with control S. Now I've opened this other file here in a horizontal split. So let me just close this. You can do the same with a vertical split by pressing control V. So now I've opened this other file here in a vertical split. You can even uh, toggle the preview here with control T if you like, that just gives you more space for the file path. That's probably useful if the file paths that you, that you are looking at are very long here. And of course you can close the picker without choosing anything by pressing escape or control C, just like in your shell. So let me now quickly talk about picker search syntax. And this is inspired by the way, by the search syntax that the popular CLI tool FCF has or FZF. And I will provide this link in the description so you can check it out yourself. So let me just quickly show you guys this here. And this is the search syntax that FCF has, and you can apply a lot of this uh, to Helix. For example, if you want to search for something that does not include the word fire, then you can put an exclamation mark in front of it. And you can also uh, add this here, this little hat thing here. And that basically means that you want the search item that you are looking for to start with this search with this term here. And you can also combine these. And if you want an exact match for your search term, then you can add this little apostrophe here at the beginning. So these are some of the things that you can do. Oh, you can also add this dollar sign here at the end, and then your search item has to end with whatever you specified here. So I'm going to link this list here in the description if you want to check it out. And yeah, guys, that's basically everything you need to know about how to use the picker and helix. So yeah, see you in the next video, guys. Bye.